and uh, extra defenders, even on tight cuts and stuff. Um, uh, but I, I missed some shots that I, I would normally make and I, sh I should have made. But uh, yeah, they did they did a good job at uh, sending uh, extra attention. Additional questions for Colt or Troy? Again, up front. Uh, Troy, that final play was one that you guys had run at Missouri State. Could you kind of take me through, you know, what what you saw happen there? On on our offensive or defense? Yeah. Uh, I was just, you know, watching Colt and you know just going off him, you know how he create, you know he drew in a couple defenders and I try to, you know, slide my way around to the open spot. It's simple as that. When you guys were down 10 uh, with about 10 minutes left, what was sort of the attitude and, and, you know, what do you feel like got you guys back into it at that point? Uh, I mean, 10 minutes is a lot of time in a basketball game. I mean, you can, you know, our, our motto was, you know, just get five stops and, you know, just see what happened from there. And we got some stops and, and people made big shots. And I mean, then <clears throat> we were in strike a distance and, and then we really didn't want to look back from there. Next question, um, middle on the right, please. Uh, Danny Spiewak, Slam Magazine. Troy, when you draw an assignment like Jake Odom, you know, obviously one of the better players in this league, uh, what'd you do to frustrate him? I don't know. I guess I just, I just try to do the same thing every game, you know, just, just be a knack on defense, you know, or crash the glass on offense because I know, you know, I mean, he's a real good player. I mean, just anybody in general, when they're guarding somebody and they're always, you know, somebody get a couple offensive rebounds on them, you know, that kind of throw their offense off a little bit because, you know, they're focused on me the whole time. But, I mean, he, he's a real good player, like I said. He, he's crafty. And, you know, I just try to do my best just to keep him in front. <coughs> Any additional questions for Colt or Troy? Again, up front, on the right. Um, Colt, I know you had kind of big expectations coming into this, um, you know, to, to fans or whatever, you know, what, what do you want to say as, as you kind of go out here? I know you guys will probably play another game, but, um, you know, what do you want them to remember or, or anything like that? Uh, I mean, uh, just that we, we played hard. Uh, we came over here, um, you know, with, with, with the mindset to, to stay for a while. Um, but, you know, NESA is a great team, and, and they were able to get the win today. One last question for our student-athletes. Not gentlemen, thank you so much for your time and attention. You can return to your locker room. Additional questions for Coach Simmons. Please just raise your hand. On the left. Steve Porter, Alton Telegraph. Marty had a couple uh, tough calls at the end of the game where you may be looking for a block on the one end and a foul near the end of the game. And the last play was sort of in front of your bench. Can you sort of? Go over those plays. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not going to touch that with a 10-foot pole, Steve. Those guys are great officials. We've got some of the best in the in the country. Everybody's emotions are out there, and and both teams were playing as hard as they possibly could. It's just, uh, you know, I'd I'd rather not comment. Anything else for Coach Simmons? Again, up front on the right. Uh, Coach, kind of the same question I asked Troy is uh, when there were 10 minutes left, uh, where did you see the game kind of change for you guys? I saw, you know, Gideon and DJ obviously did most of the scoring, but was, was there anything that, that maybe keyed that run for you all? Well, we just challenged them in the timeout to, you know, we, we had had several breakdowns in succession there to give up the eight-point lead and uh, just challenged them to, to slow down and, and to execute better things that we had set up in our game plan and to give a little more effort, nothing mind-boggling. We just, we just got away uh, and, and got a little sloppy defensively. And in a game like that, you can't, you can't do that when buckets are hard to, to come up with and give the players the credit. I mean, they really, they really rallied around that. And like Troy said, they really challenged each other to get five stops in a row. And uh, I just I thought they fought and competed. Uh, the entire 40 minutes. In the middle on the right, please. Danny Spiewak, Slam Magazine. Coach, with what Troy's done for you, his whole career in terms of his rebounding, his defense, um, can you kind of reflect on that, and, and not just today, but really his whole career? Yeah, he's, he, I mean, number one, he's a terrific young man. I mean, he's been so much fun to be around the last four years. It's incredible. He's, uh, 
He's a self-motivator. He really takes a lot of pride in, in doing things the right way. And then you look at him as a basketball player. He's a, he's a little unorthodox in that he's got huge hands for a, for a guard, point guard, and he's tremendously athletic, and he's a warrior at tracking balls down. I mean, it's certainly nothing that we've taught him at Evansville. He brought that to our program. Uh, he's, he's a very competitive young man. You know, as, as was asked earlier, I mean, it was – Jake Odom is one of the more difficult guys in the league to, to guard. And uh, trying to keep him in front of you is very, very difficult. But he's got as big a heart as, as any player that I've ever coached. And uh, he just brings a tremendous amount of energy and, and positive enthusiasm to our basketball team. Another question up front on the right. Coach, kind of the, the Colt Ryan question, what did you see them do in the second half? And, and it, was it more Colt having an off day or maybe what Indiana State did or, or a combination of both of those things? Yeah, I'd, I'd say probably a combination of both. I just thought as a team we shot the ball too quick. And, and you know, we, we're not against quick shots, you know, if they're great shots. And we let their pressure, I think, without watching the, the video, force us into – to, to take in quicker shots instead of holding on to it and pivoting and being strong with it and executing cuts and screens, getting the ball into the core of the defense, driving the basketball and making the extra pass. We shot the ball. I mean, it's a lot different than the game at Evansville where we had 26 assists versus that. I think you got to give Indiana State a lot of credit, but I think our basketball team got a little frustrated with that and, and – our decision making wasn't as good as it needed to be, but saying that, you know, they that we continued to fight and scrap and claw, and uh, and really put ourselves in a in a position to to have a chance to win the game. Where, where do you guys kind of go from here? I um, mean, you, you obviously have the record where you'll, you'll probably get an invite to one of those postseason tournaments. I mean, do you go back to practice or do you wait until? How do you handle? I don't that? think anybody's really thinking about that right now, Jonathan. I mean, the the amount of disappointment in that locker room following this game is probably as much as any I've ever seen in all my years being a player, being a basketball coach. You're talking about four seniors that gave their heart and soul to this basketball program, and their number one goal was to have a chance to advance and play in the NCAA tournament. Now that that's gone by the wayside, there's just uh, – I don't, I don't think right now they're, they're thinking about it right now, and, and, and I'm not either. I think as the week moves on, We'll, we'll see whatever opportunities come up. And my hope is that, that we will have some, some opportunities to play. I certainly would, would like to continue coaching this team and having another chance to, to compete for another championship. Any other questions? Coach, thank you so much. Congratulations on your year.